Then again, maybe some of you have come to Hogwarts in possession of abilities so formidable that you feel confident enough to not pay attention. Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? You don't know? Well, let's try again. Where, Mr. Potter, would you look if I asked you to find me a bezoar? I don't know, sir. And what is the difference between monkshood and wolfbane? I don't know, sir. Pity. Clearly, fame isn't everything. Put a hand down, you silly girl. Well, why aren't you all copying this down? And Gryffindors, note that five points will be taken from your house for your classmates' cheek. Good afternoon. Now, what would three young Gryffindors, such as yourselves, be doing inside on a day like this? People will think you're up to something. Not to mention the damage you inflicted on a whomping willow that's been on these grounds since before you were born. Honestly, Professor Snape, I think it did more damage to us. Silence! I assure you that were you in Slytherin and your fate rested with me, the both of you would be on the train home tonight. Thank you, Mr. Malfoy. That is the second time you've spoken out of turn, Miss Granger. Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? Potter, what are you doing wandering the corridors at night? Uh, you insolent little... Professor. Can we run <laughs> off? Come on. It's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. You say so. Look, we've just got to grit our teeth and do it. Tonight, when we get back to the common room, we'll both have partners. Agreed? Agreed. Oh! oh. Obviously. Turn to page 394. 